Hello, my name is Eris Katz. I'm the CEO of Lucena Research. Today, I'd like to showcase how we incorporate Psych Signals social media sentiment data into our platform, Quandesk. Specifically, I will demonstrate how Psych Signal can be utilized to define, refine, backtest, and deploy an event based strategy on Quandesk. Quandesk maintains an elaborate data set of factors sourced for multiple big data providers. We apply machine learning technology geared to identify a collection of factors, also called models, that present statistically significant conditions from which we can derive a stock's price move or a change in market sentiment. Today, I will briefly touch on two modules within Quantisk that utilize Psych Signals data. This screen represents Quantisk Forecaster. The Forecaster applies machine learning algorithmic technology to determine a confidence score in a stock's price move. It essentially takes advantage of a multi-factor model that's depicted here. You can see here psych signal model. When I click on this, you can see the details of the underlying indicators that the model is based on. It consists of, of course, uh, some technical indicators that are in the core of Lucena's database, but there's also psych signal specific indicators such as stock twits daily bullish intensity and twitter no retreats bullish intensity that are being utilized in this in this model the forecaster takes advantage of all these factors together and identifies through historical analysis what is the likelihood of a price move uh, of any of the underlying constituents you can see here that there's a current price future price change in dollar change, change in percent and of course, a confidence measure in stars from zero stars, low confidence, and five stars, high confidence. The next module that I'd like to show you is the event analyzer. The event analyzer identifies how meaningful events can move certain stocks, sectors, or markets in a predictable way. It travels back in time and looks for how stocks that met certain criteria behaved into the future once that match was made. You can see here how we identified psych signal long event that consists of, again, multiple factors. Some of them are psych signal specific. Some of them are more generic, such as sharp ratio and volatility. Here is a Twitter with retweets bullish intensity that's identified with by, by psych signal. And you can see here looking for strong sentiments over greater than two and a half measures in the scale of available conditions for that factor. When we travel back through history through 2012 and scan for these events, you can see that the matching securities are depicted here in connection or in conjunction with one day to 21 days price move. On the bottom, you can see an aggregate behavior or summary of this event scan. You can see that in one day we have 10 bips all the way to 2.39% after 21 days. In addition, we provide a more visual representation of the same data. This is a heat map that shows by sector the likelihood of a price move based on the historical analysis. And on the bottom, you can see the event scan. The vertical line represents the event date. The line on the left side showcases the 10-day price move prior to the event date and you can see after 21 days, a cone that shows all the possible price outcomes from all the stocks that met the criteria. We can highlight a certain region that we are most interested in, such as the upper quadrant of the cone that represents the potential outcomes. And you can see that the machine recommends additional factors, many of them psych signal factors that would identify additional screening to further hone in on the region that we are most interested in. Lastly, we can backtest the event conditions in a true trading scenario by traveling back in time and going out of sample from 2011 to March 31st, 2015, and essentially simulating what would have happened if we had bought every time a criteria of what we have defined was met how we have co would compare to just uh, the market as a whole. So you can see in blue here is the market, in orange is our strategy, and there's a whole bunch of comparative values to identify how powerful the event 
criteria are. And again, it's all to provide some sort of confidence that in the future, if the event uh, reoccurs and we have other signals, what the price move would be. You can see here the same report in a much more elaborate attribution performance report that provides more information, more insight into the validity and the power on the predictive power of the strategy. That's all I have for you today. Thank you again for your time and look forward to seeing you soon.